So Pendulum Boy Triff gonna go first. First time we're gonna see him going properly first, I suppose, with full knowledge and a full uh what's it called? Um uh chance to actually go first. Uh going into the Dark Worm of the Dragon Shrine. Sneak peek for Savage Strike was next weekend. So Triff most likely has the Zephyr engine in his deck now. <clears throat> He will likely have that just in his deck for whenever he goes first. Double Dark Worm uh, play there just to go for the Electromite. Let's see, are we going to see Gamma on this Electromite? Let's find out. if Tiff, it, Let's see if Triff activates it, first of all. It's interesting that Typhoon decided to go for Gamma over Ghost Ogre, I suppose. I mean, what's the, what would you, like, what's the advantage to playing ga uh, Gamma over uh, just other negation, I suppose? It's just the strongest hand trap in general, I believe. Is it? Destroying the Electromite, preventing stuff from going from the going to the extra deck. Mm. Does not lose the call by the grave, mm. although in this matchup, I, that is not that important. Yeah. If this was a YCS, Triff would have won. Well, it's not a YCS, huh? So. <laughs> I believe it is Triff who set the ground rules of best of seven, so you can blame that on Triff himself. 22 months sub from John. Thank you, dude. 22 months. Jesus, you've been subbed to me since I had my Twitch. Well, that's real money. God. <laughs> that's like a lot. Big if true. <clears throat> he would have won in time. Yeah, maybe Triff would have won in time. <laughs> it's not playing Cowboy, I don't believe. Yeah, that's a good point. Triff can't go to YCSs, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so many Spurgs today in chat. Damn. <clears throat> Should I tar 1, time 1,000 viewers smile. Yeah, we're maintaining a strong 1,000 viewers to see the climax of this game. We are definitely going to be seeing a game 5, is it? <clears throat> I wouldn't play Pendulum at YCS. Tiffin. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffin showing off this match would literally never happen at an event. Tiffin having top four to ICS with Pendulum. <laughs> so maybe he just wouldn't play Pendulum at a YCS anymore. Score is in the title of the stream, boys. Score is in the title. It is currently Typhoon uh, at one, Triff at two. This is game four. <clears throat> Oh yeah, Tiffin being in the final of the Pendulum as well. This is the battle of the pen gods, guys. The, the guy with one Pendulum top 32 versus someone who was in the final of a YCS with Pendulum and in the top four of a YCS with Pendulum. Typhoon. Battling out truly <laughs> some equal accolades right there. Wow, Jordan, this is some biased commentary if I ever did see one. Ty Smile. To be fair, Triff has, uh, I think, like one attendance or something, and he and he just went and topped with it. Uh, and then Konami had to get him. <clears throat> Link so, you wear Electromite under boots here. Now, this is the first time we're going to be seeing Nightmare uh, played in this matchup. And <laughs> Tiffin's first YCS was second at Remini, apparently. <laughs> Showing up Triff's top 32. Uh, just, these two just trying to one-up nice. each other. Something nice indeed. I, I, sorry, I, I turn one Boral Sword. I kind of zoned out. What was the materials for this Boral Sword? I believe it was Electromite, Boots, and Zephranoe. Boots, Zephranoe. Okay, right. So we uh, got a Fog Blade, a Divine Strike, and a Boral Sword. A Nightmare. <laughs> A nightmare. We now have the 2019 equivalent of the of the firewall pass. Moral sword pass. Um. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick the chat on follower mode on. Uh, follower follower modes now. You guys are uh, spurging out a little too hard for my liking. <clears throat> what just Tafoon just summons that Pankratops, slaps that nightmare out of his face. So Pendulum cool. eight. <clears throat> that bike tops would likely be negated by the bench strike. Would be nice. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Activated reboot. Real kick. Just set it to follower mode, please. Don't put it on a timer on ten minutes. Just follower mode is good enough. 
So we don't have too many negates here. I think it's just the um, fog blade and the most important one is going to fog be the... Fog blade uh, and divine strike. Yeah. Was the, oh, divine strike as well. Oof, okay, this is pretty tough. Dual alliance activated. Probably going to let this resolve. Maybe he'll be negating the call with the divine strike, depending on what he discards. Pen um, call is normally an easy target for negation, the, which is uh, also means it is an easy bait for a negation. The, the biggest problem that I'm seeing for him right now is this uh, Nightmare. Typhoon, I don't see anything relevant in his extra deck that could deal with the Nightmare going first. Maybe uh, Impermanence if he's hard drawn it. Uh, Gamma is not really going to be able to, to work against it, of course, because just the way it, um, it works with the number of monsters you control. Uh, Cerberus is being activated here. And he could... Uh, have a way to just try and bait it out by attacking over it when he brings out the jackal to bring back the cerberus probably so just end up getting full the jackal on. the jackal would most likely get nightmared uh yeah it would probably just nightmare it uh, straight off the bat there uh, borrow shard has given tefun a zone here which is a downside of making it here so yeah. it's, it's not as impactful to nightmare on the Jackal, if it's in the extra monsters, it, it, normally it would be in the extra monster zone, but because of this Borosar dragon, there is a zone here that makes the nightmare a, bit, a little bit less impactful if used on the Jackal. How long to the BA God matchup? Who would we have for the for the BA matchup? Should we get like Tom and someone? Tom Rose and Tamnik has one of YCS with BA. Yeah. So so has Tom Rose. It's it's, it's just it's just weird because it's like four different fucking yeah, eras. There, there and, are, yeah, there's like Torres, five Sephora. years. Yeah. There are many people who have won BAYCSs. Weird. Is, is Patrick Hoban. <laughs> Smile. Tom versus Dean. Ooh, Calvin the Hand for BA could be funny. Uh, I don't think he topped the premier event with it once. What are you talking about? P ARG, ARGs, bro. ARGs are the most premier of it. Oh god. <laughs> I mean, at that time they weren't. At, they they were pretty. They were pretty competitive. I still wouldn't call it a pre prestigious top, but you know, not as bad as it is now. All respect to ARG and the work that Jim uh, puts in. Shoutouts to them. Pendulum call pitching the dark worm. This is okay. Ooh. So naturally, I feel that you don't negate the pendulum call. Uh, you do negate the pendulum call with the divine strike, uh, but because he's discarding the dark worm, he's just going to get too much advantage out of that. So it's I don't personally don't think it's really worth it. But Triff is going to go ahead with it. He will negate the pendulum call, um, despite the fact that the dark worm was uh, was pitched there. He's going to activate the Dark Worm in the Grave to bring it out and try and attempt to get that scale. We might see him set it, uh, or he could fog blade it to actually stop him from getting the scale. Most likely, going to have to deal with it with the um, uh, with the Nightmare, just because you know Typhoon would be able to then simply just normal summon and go into Electromite. Uh, Electromite could then, I suppose, get fog bladed, but Electromite is still obviously really good because of the zones it creates. So I think Trip is. Going to have to be forced to flip this face down, but I could be wrong. We'll see what he does. Of course, Triff is thinking here. Has got that fog blade set. Did not have to make Bardish to get access to it, so it does not have the graveyard revival effect, which normally comes in useful for turn of three for extra zones here. I'm not sure what. Tiffin's plan is for dealing with this Boros Sword. I'm not sure he's thought that far ahead yet. He might just want to see where Triff uses his interruptions first and then make his plays based on that. Dealing with the Boros Sword is like, you know, as uh, weird of a play it is, as it is going first. Uh, it is a pretty tough card to deal with because of the big, huge 3000 booty and uh, inability to target it. You can target it. Wait, can you? You just cannot be destroyed by battle. Oh, right, shit. I'm getting it mixed up with Boral Sword. Uh, Boral Load. Boral Wall Pass. <clears throat> Mind Boral Wall Pass. A Jesse Thunder Mirror that was robbed from us at YCS. Yeah. Jesse versus Bowden. Maybe we could have the real final. That would be nice. Uh, he's going to let that go through. No set. No negate. Uh, I'm going to activate the Jackal. This is going to bring back the Cerberus. 
So this will most likely get nightmared. Yeah, he's going to definitely have to nightmare this. Uh, the uh, the Cerberus just uh, way too big and way too good of an effect oh. as well. He could activate two spells and banish a card off the field. Um, yep. So <coughs> it, that's going to have to be set, which is fine. 2,800 defense. Uh, pretty mm -hmm. big wall. He, Rather large booty. Big, big, thick booty girl. Calvin Tahan, ABC Mirror. Who's he going to play against? Fucking the daycare center that he, like, fucking <laughs> attends? Is the second place at Pen God count as a top? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I came second out of two players. <laughs> uh, Duncan, if you want to watch the game, uh, you just uh, open your... You, you turn on your monitor and you look at the screen. Uh, that's how you watch the game. It's It's right in front of you. Gadget mirror, uh, yeah, I don't, okay, I don't, I don't even know who the fuck those people are. <laughs> Duncan getting gifted a sub, undeservedly, but whatever. Sure, thank you, Rob Keck. How, how many months has Duncan been subbed now, for free? It says there's a watch password, yeah, I know, there's a watch password, so you can't watch. How did these people Even though there's in? 12 random people. Uh, what do you mean, how did other people get it? Fucking hell in the deer. You know what, you made it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <clears throat> uh, oh, Robbie, yeah. Magic. <clears throat> you got all these boys in the chat begging for subs. <laughs> Hassan on sub. Oof, that's painful. Salad man mirror between Cap and Farfar. Oh, God, I don't want to have to play against <laughs> Cap again. Here comes the Zephrath. Zephraf being activated. Is he gonna get negate? No, no, that's fine. Probably gonna yeah, send. He doesn't the... have a negate, so <clears throat> his negates right now are fogwood. So there's no interaction at this level. Maybe he has an ogre in hand, possibly. I don't think so, though. It's Specky Jason in the chat. Surprised you can see your keyboard. <laughs> Double pendulum <laughs> summon. How do I unsub? Can't unsub if you can't see, bro. Yeah, maybe if you could fucking see, you'd be able to find the button. Oh. That's so we're pen two... to the two. So this is most likely just going to get nightmare. Yeah, it's going to be chain link three nightmare here. So the thing Harmo summons will be face up, but he isn't going to have any zones. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there is the possibility that Tiffin has kept a level five or higher monster in his hand that he can tribute summon over that oh. set Zephranoi. Open up his extra monster zone for plays. So yeah, we're going to chain mm. the nightmare here. Chain Link 3 is Nightmare, so these two should be set. Yep. So he's going to set them now, and then he's going to resolve the harmonizing and bring something out of the deck. I don't know like if it matters what you bring out of the deck. I mean, you could just get, a, get like a purple poison, I suppose. It really depends what's in his hand, I think. Purple Poison would be useful, maybe pop a scale. Thing is that that Borrow Sword can just turn Purple Poison <clears> to defense <throat> mode if it tries to declare an attack, protecting Trift scales. Poison, yeah, it would be, uh, whatever he summons will be summoned in defense. Um, oh, yeah. But I guess it's. Like... Harmo must summon it in defense. Yeah. This is a big turn here by Typhoon. Uh, so, so much effort and so much that you have to dedicate just to deal with the Nightmare turn one. Crazy card in the Pendulum Mirror match. Being able to set multiple monsters off of the one singular summon. Purple Poison is the one that he's going to choose. So we're going to see what else Typhoon does this turn, whether or not he has a tribute summon or whether or not he's going to be ending his turn here. In fact, uh, um, if, um, has he resolved? He did activate Nui. I don't think he has resolved. Should tell him to resolve that card. Uh, yep, Typhoon, you should probably try and resolve your uh, Zafrani since you did activate it. Unless he did resolve it well, I wasn't <clears> looking. But 
I believe he did not. There we go. Top four with Zephra, by the way. Typhoon is uh, top four with Zephra. That's uh, one of his accolades. Just a reminder. <laughs> Does Zephra do us himself? <laughs> I've never seen a Boral Sword do so much damage turn one. I think it's mostly the Nightmare that's doing it. Yeah. Typhoon, unfortunately, not able to bait the Nightmare before. Like, bait both Nightmare flips before his Pendulum Summon. Yeah. Uh, that is. That, uh... that Boral Sword is protecting that Nightmare. So even if Typhoon did have a way to maybe like tribute summon the Jackal, which he could have done over this Dark Worm. And then attack over the nightmare. He would have the borrow sword to turn that da that jackal to defense mode, and then that would have been a wasted attack. He also has fog blade to protect it from being attacked. So he does have a lot of protection for this nightmare. So tribute summons off dragon magician. There you go. There it is. That's big. That's big. He's going to be able to clear up an extra deck zone now, uh, but he can make himself an electromite. There is still the fog, the blade, fog blade, which is so. problematic, but you know he's some progress is being made very slowly. But he did have the tribute summon after all. Got an extra deck monster zone freed up, and not sure if Tapin can find a way to clear a scale. See what that would kind be the of... ideal situation here if he can clear a scale and set that divine strike. So that Typhoon, would be really ideal. Typhoon plays uh, the Karen Gorgon. That might maybe be useful against that fault blade. He's got well, Dweller he doesn't necessarily... and Castell and Tornado Dragon for his rank fours. He doesn't necessarily have to clear the scales though, does he? Because he only has a Triff only has a Dark Room in his extra deck. Oh yeah, that is correct. It's Dark Room is extra deck and a Dark Room in his grave. So as long as the entire board isn't clear, I mean you don't care about nightmare at this point. You can just leave that there blocking off the Dark Room from doing anything. Triff doesn't have much of a follow-up for next turn because of the uh, just the amount of resources he had to dedicate to the Boros Sword, but any kind of top deck uh, in his deck could be really dangerous um, if he can get access to harmonizing at some point. Boros Sword is also going to put in a lot of work next turn, making two attacks. Yeah, Typhoon's board's going to be... Yeah, it's, uh, it's not going to last long, but see what kind of option he's going to go for. We have a rank 4 play, or we have a... Oh, he's going to go straight to the battle phase? Yeah, he's going to kill that Nightmare. Okay. It's not really that important anymore. I doubt Treff will protect it. Uh, be interesting. I mean, there's no reason not to protect it, right? I he... suppose you wouldn't really need any use of Boros Heart and Mentis to... Yeah, because, uh, you know, he might as well keep it on board so that next turn he can uh, put the Nightmare to attack and then put it back to defense with Boros Heart's effect and attack twice, I guess. So we may see Tornado Dragon here, possibly. It will just get eaten up by Fogblade, though. Yeah. Um... So what he can do, actually, is he can make the Tornado Dragon... Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything right now, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll see what we'll see what Typhoon, we'll see what I'd Typhoon not, does. Yeah, I'd rather not say anything. This isn't a, this isn't a coaching commentary. Uh, but... <laughs> yeah. We'll figure it we'll, we'll see. Uh, Providence activated, and that's uh, going to get him his Divine Strike to stop any kind of push that Triff does. So um, it's 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 a really kind of, it's it almost feels like anyone's game right now. It really kind of depends on what Triff can maybe top deck in terms of a power card, because uh, while he does seem to be in a bit of a more commanding position with the board, the Divine Strike is going to stop any kind of further push that Triff can uh, that Triff can do. Uh, but it really... Okay, so what's happened here is maybe what I thought might happen is that Triff did not end phase. Like, I mean, it, it would have been quite bad if he'd end phase Fogboid of the Tornado Dragon anyway. So now he has this Divine Strike as protection for his Tornado Dragon. So even if he Fogboids it, you can Divine Strike it. And then maybe if Triff does not have an 8 scale on his hand, he might just be locked out of his extra deck. <clears throat> Regardless, Triff's position wasn't very good because end phasing on a Tornado Dragon is obviously not good at all because they just chain it. It's Tiffin not using the Tornado Dragon on his turn because he recognizes it would just get fog bladed. Whereas now he gets the chance to activate this Divine Strike, negate that fog blade, and push his Tornado Dragon through. Seems like that's what's uh, going to happen here. Um, so. 
It's a bit of a scarier situation now for Typhoon though, because since that this chronograph is in the extra deck, if T Triff does have a high skill now, it's even worse for Typhoon. Yeah, it's a better pendulum summon. <laughs> so we're gonna see has he got an eight skill? Oh, slams that harmonizing down. Maybe Typhoon's picked that wrong skill there. He's probably done the maths, looked at Triff's deck list, looked at what he's used. <laughs> what can he what is most likely. Oh, Triff had a low skill as well. Okay. Uh, I guess it didn't really matter. All right, Triff uh, is going to clean up house here, it seems. This board's going to go. The purple poison has been used in materials, so we don't have anything to kind of fight back an with. An important thing to know is, though, that if Tafen did hit the low scale, the uh, he wouldn't have been able to pen them summon either the dark worm or the dark worm. That is true. So the, on the low scale, it would have been a bit more powerful. Tiffin would have had less on board. No, no, yeah, Triff would have had less on board. But uh, you are kind of fifty fifting at that point. You don't know any of the cards in your yeah. opponent's hand. You have to just go by the numbers. Unfortunately, it didn't work out very well for Tiffin here. Your watch your password seems to put in a lot of work in the dare. <laughs> Alright, there's like a three second delay on Twitch anyway. So Triff's uh, thinking about what kind of numbers he can put out here. He's going to go for a rank 4 instead of uh, going straight to the battle phase. Rank 4 is that Triff has is just the Tornado Dragon. Uh, so that's going to stop Typhon from getting any kind of uh, skills established so that you can perform a pendulum summon. This is looking like a real hard scoop phase for Typhon at this point. And Nightmare's going to attack her harmonizing here. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a full board wipe, I believe. And Not uh, seeing Typhon come back from this better easily. And then uh, I guess at the end you can just attach, pop any skill, and then Typhoon it uh, begins his turn. And if he activates any skill, he just pops it with Tornado Dragon. So uh, I don't see how he's getting out of this one. Uh, top decks, gosh, I, I don't, I really have no idea what you can top deck. Well, uh, he does have does Darkworm in the grave, actually. Does he play two zero or the one? Typhoon plays... Oh, he only plays 1-0. Okay. Um, Unfortunate. If he played 2, this would be really good because... I don't know if it would be really good, but... It would have been a lot better, obviously. Well, he, he, like, guess... It would completely scale. He, and wouldn't then... have a... he, he hasn't used Electromite either, so the second 0 could have you know, really helped out, yeah. Minfit's two for Triff right now. See what else he's going to do this turn. I don't imagine he will do much. Uh, he may he's got go some for darks Bardish. in the field. Yeah. He may go for Bardish, yeah. I don't know. He'll have. His boots is gone. One fog blade is gone. What does he have left? He probably has one other fog blade. I don't think he has another Phantom Knight target. So Bardish wouldn't make much sense. Yep, so, so... he's going to pass here. All right. Typhoon, top decking. See if he's going to use the Dark Worm for a body sure. first. Checking his the action. ideal ideal draw here is probably like Destrudo, and then you make Yazi. <laughs> We're using Zephrath here. Triff says that's okay. Probably just send a Zephraxaton, I think, is what he would have left. Yeah. Which is a high scale? Or Zephraxaton is a... Yeah, it's a high scale. <clears throat> oh, yikes. And Tafin concedes that. It's 3-1 yeah. to Treff. Ooh, game for One Tyf more win for Treff. If, if Typhon top decked a level 4 or lower monster, um, he could have summoned Darkroom for Grave and made it normal summon the guy and made Electromite. 